Unit 6, Lesson 3, the development of the primary trig ratios. So we're going to deal with right angle triangles in this unit. We specifically study right angle triangles, and we need to know how we are going to describe the parts of a right angle triangle to help us with some of the things we're going to learn. So uh, first we're going to determine something called uh, the reference angle. And the reference angle is a, is a, is a marked angle. So first we... We call it a marked angle, and we give it a symbol. Sometimes we call it x, uh, or another letter, another variable. Uh, but often in textbooks, you're going to see a uh, symbol that looks like this. It's called theta. It's a Greek letter theta. And sometimes we use that to mark angles. So here's here it is, theta. You draw it a couple of times so that you understand what how it is. So that's, that's the Greek letter we're going to use to mark an angle. Sometimes we use other symbols too and other if you have more than one angle sometimes you use like a, a phi symbol uh sometimes you use the alpha symbol you know but most of the time we use we stick with theta okay so on a triangle we have a marked angle label it theta and in reference to that marked angle that reference angle we label the triangle so the hypotenuse no matter what is always the longest side so we'll label the hypotenuse hyp for short now, we have to label the other two sides of the triangle. So one of those sides is going to be labeled the opposite side. And it's going to be across from the reference angle. So if I go across the reference angle, this side here would be called my opposite side, OPP for short. Then the adjacent side is the side next to the reference angle, the adjacent side. So my adjacent side right next to the, uh, the, the re reference angle. Okay? All right. Now, what if the uh, one of the other angles was the reference angle? So what if I put the reference angle down here instead? Well, the hypotenuse is still the longest side, but the opposite side is now here on the left because it's you know across from the angle, and the adjacent side is here on the bottom. Okay, so let's do some examples. Let's, let's label the side. So again, reference angle down here on the bottom right corner, and my hypotenuse is up here. The adjacent side is the side beside the angle, right beside the angle. The opposite side is across from the reference angle. What if the uh, reference angle is up here? So, well, okay, my hypotenuse is still the longest side. It's, uh, also, another way to rem rem remember the hypotenuse is that the hypotenuse is opposite of my 90-degree angle. And we'll never consider the 90-degree angle as my reference angle. It's always going to be the 90-degree angle by itself in that corner. But the, the reference angle up here, theta, uh, leaves me with the adjacent side right beside it here, and the opposite side, which is across from the angle. If your triangle is oriented this way and your reference angle is over here, then your adjacent side would be uh, the side beside the angle. Try not to confuse it with this side here, because this side is my hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is opposite of the 90 degree angle. So usually it's a good idea to label your hypotenuse first. And then across from my reference angle is my opposite side. If your triangle is oriented this way, I'll label my hypotenuse first. So again, it's across the 90 degree angle. Uh, here's my reference angle theta. So my adjacent side is this side touching the angle. And then across, the, across from the reference angle is my opposite side. OK. Example two, identify the opposite adjacent and hypotenuse. What if I asked to identify the length? So the opposite side. Uh, so let's go my theta reference angle. My hypotenuse is here, and my adjacent side is down here, touching the angle, and the opposite is across. So if I were to label the sides, the lengths of each side, my opposite would be three, and my adjacent side would be four, and my hypotenuse would be five. So it's as simple as that. We're going to be doing an investigation next in class where I'm going to give you some similar triangles and you're going to be labeling the adjacent hypotenuse and opposite and making some measurements. And that's it. That will end. And then at the, at the end of the uh, activity, you're going, we're going to make a master table of some calculations of my ratios opposite over hypotenuse, adjacent over hypotenuse, and opposite over adjacent. All right. And you'll see something surprising.
And that ends this video.